Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Going Under. I just had a urge to bust out Evanescence there, but I restrained. Barely. On the last episode, Eclair evolved. <laughs> what is it, girl? Did Swamp fall down a garbage chute? Huh? What's this? She's holding a piece of paper. Did you make it yourself, girl? Do you secretly possess opposable thumbs and human-level intelligence? Jackie, this is getting weird. I'm glad you like my dog, but designing her a whole business card so she can hand it to you is a little bit far. But I'm not the one who... Could it be? So I just got Eclair's business card. The most important connection I'll ever make. Job good girl at Fizzle Beverages. With over 40 years of experience, I'm assuming that's in dog years, Eclair is Fizzle's foremost expert on barking and tail wagging. Alright, I don't... <laughs> can't be wasting my time with them. Also, everyone started turning into fish people. That's the other thing that happened. They don't seem to really realize it, except for maybe Swamp, but, you know. Heard you've been messing around in Winky Dick's bed. I don't want to unpack that phrasing, but sure, I guess I have. A lot of babes of mine were using that app to get dates a few years ago. I always wondered what happened to it. Turns out that the company went under, and they all morphed into provocatively clad demons. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, wild world. Good thing nothing like that would ever happen to us. Young lady. You reek of bat guano and sukan chips. Well, I've been down a mine shaft filled with massive PCs, so that would make sense. Ah, the all-encompassing underground. So gorgeous, and yet it feels like it may swallow you up and consume you at any moment. Exhilarating, isn't it? Haven't really had time to appreciate the beauty, sorry. I've mostly just been beating the crap out of skeletons. Work to do the bone, eh? I believe I've got the flavor of fizzle just for you. How does a refreshing barbecue espresso sound to you? I think I'll take my chance with the skeletons, thanks. Suit yourself. That sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard, especially because I don't like coffee. I'm gonna add barbecue sauce to it. Get out of here. Whoa, rolled. <laughs> Accidental roll. Ugh, why is everyone talking about cryptocurrency again all of a sudden? I thought the whole craze was over. I don't really understand how it's different from normal money. Well, a lot of guys will try to tell you about the cool technology involved, and it's probably not really what you care about, and is honestly not all that cool. All you really need to know is that, unlike national currency, where the government can print more of it at will, and pretty much do whatever they want with it, creating more cryptocurrency is controlled by code or something, so no one person or entity can fake its creation, or lie about what it is. I feel like I'm kind of out of my depth here. Does that mean the value is, like, more consistent or something? <laughs> Not even close. Yeah, I would say, I'd say far less there. Uh, apparently cryptocurrency is, like, bad for the environment, too, because it uses up such an insane amount of electricity. It uses, like, the amount of electricity someone might use in, like, four days every single time someone makes a blockchain exchange. It was crazy. I, I never would have guessed something like that. You own a car, kiddo? <laughs> oh, you were serious. Of course I'm serious. Nothing like feeling the wind in your hair after a hard day's work. My whip is a real beauty, too. Fully electronic, if you care about that sort of thing. Ask nicely, and I'll let you take it for a spin one of these days. Because, uh, that's just the type of cool boss I am. A really cool boss would pay all of his workers. Speak up, kid. I can't quite hear you. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Alright, one more. Oh! <laughs> accidental roll. So Marv's got you digging around Winky Dinks' office now, huh? Yep, it's a mess down there. Can't be worse than actually using the app. All the guys I ever met on there were complete hellspawn. And the girls... never messaged me back at all. Yikes. I'm sorry, Kira. Ah, don't sweat it. Dating isn't the end-all, be-all of existence. I invest my emotional energy in more fruitful things, like dog ownership. 
Now, you might notice that they don't seem... They, they really aren't aware of um, what's happening. I think this is more of a way to make it so that they didn't have to write new dialogue for this game change, and so that you wouldn't miss a ton of the dialogue by doing the game change too early. That would be my guess anyway. I think we're going to go with... I mean, have I ever gone with Kira? I don't think I... I don't know if I have. Whatever, we're gonna go with her. Uh, two apps at once and an app store can appear. Now, what's happening here is that I have to re-go into all of the dungeons, but they will be way harder. I do, in fact, have a chance of losing. I think so far the only time I failed uh, on an original run, I could be wrong, but I think it's when that glitch happened and there was nothing I could do about that. I am also wearing the Joblin outfit. I figure for my re-entry to these, I will be wearing a, the... Uh, Outfits of the appropriate place. Of course, I don't really like the skeleton one because you are literally just a skeleton. But hey, oh my god, it's a Claire, I forgot. They wanted me to walk her. So she basically acts like debt. <laughs> but um, that's how I will complete Kara's next mission. So. Oh my. Yeah, all the enemies are, are different. I do, you might think this is a little bit cheap and you would be right. Um, I am a little bit disappointed that there weren't um, more businesses, but there's not. Um, this clearly is like a budget title, but I absolutely would have preferred if uh, there were like at least six businesses instead of just reusing the same aesthetic of one of the old ones that they've already done, but you, you, we get what we get. This is the app store. I doubt I can afford anything because it's in the, oh, I can. Um, hmm. <laughs> but now we have two sticks roads. I'm gonna destroy everyone. God, Claire's so annoying. What does she do when I do this, though? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to do this. So this is, of course, the sticks road app. Makes you invincible. Gives you an invincible car. Boom. Look at it, Claire. Ah, she's invincible. Um, I threw my t-shirt gun, which is a thing that I have. I want to pick that up. Ugh. Oh, that's the cubicle app. That just summons a cube. I should use that immediately. Satisfaction guaranteed. Whippy hand. My satisfaction's not here. God damn it, Eclair. This would be much easier in the regular dungeon. I just permanent debt dog. I don't want a debt dog. Oh, where's my t-shirt cannon? I shall respond in kind. Looks like there's a he's a Joblin mascot. Uh, all right, let's get a skill. Oh, look at that! Let's need this. Oh, that broke instantly. <laughs> um, let's see. Dodge rolls deal damage. Apps are more common. I am absolutely getting this, considering I have Kira. Couldn't it be a better pairing. Where are you at? My T-shirts are more powerful. Alright, he's playing guitar. Whippy hands! Alright, we got the uh, Winky Dinks app. And a new t-shirt cannon. I do know that the store is back there, I just wanted to get a bit farther so I actually have money. Uh, there's a homing yoga ball. Yeah, let's do this. Right, got you. Um, did I ever run over a car with another car? I have a feeling the answer is no. Oh dear. But unfortunately that car blew up instantly, so I couldn't do it. Look at this. It's very hard to kill the person in the car without destroying the car. Thank you for your business. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Okay. Job witch. I don't think I have any way to light on a fire, so it's just gonna give me half a heart. Uh, and this is ViewTube. Uh, I should really be using my apps more often. Alright, we don't want to activate this because you can't go back. I'm gonna painstakingly drag Claire back to the store. Uh, I gotta get all the way to the third dungeon at least to get rid of this Eclair thing. Uh, yeah, we just want more life. More life, please. You should know, goblins are paid based on the jobs completed, not hours worked. So it makes more sense to cut corners rather than actually spend time doing things perfectly. Is that why all the drivers are speeding out of control here? You got it. 
But you can't be too reckless or someone will report you and you'll get fired. Or you might just crash the car. Being a good contractor is all about riding the line between profitability and a painful death. As a contractor, I know that. I mean, I guess I'm... Oh! This looks like a union meeting. Can't have that. There. Oh, winky dinks, I gotta remember. Boom. Use the app. Feel the power of the app. Oh, yes. Winky dinks and stinks road. Stinks road? Stinks road. Why not? That's what we... No corners called sticks coin. Yeah. Okay, and I just slipped on some... Hopefully not blood, but possibly blood. I don't have any weapons. There. These guys really want to unionize. <laughs> or they just hate me. I don't know. Everyone's trying to kill me. Let's... Boom. Break up the Joblin Union. Yeah. Keep on looking up information on that Amazon Union that's trying to happen, but uh, every single time I look, it, <laughs> I keep on seeing articles like, Why it's taking so long? It's all very confusing, and I don't, that I don't know. But maybe it's been resolved by the time I'm recording this. Maybe it's been recalled now. I haven't looked it up in like four days. I'm trying to ignore news, not be informed. What is this? Uh, <laughs> when I was paying too much attention, I started to go insane. It's like I've wondered, God, I'm about to get like super philosophical. If things are happening in the world that are bad, and you can do literally nothing about it, does it make sense to like obsess over knowing it? Because you're just making yourself insane through no benefit of anyone. And I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I, I always figured the answer is eventually you have to know just in case eventually there's something you can do about it. But what if you never, what if you never, what if you never are able to do anything about it? Was it a waste to know? Was it detrimental to know? I don't know. I've been wondering this repeatedly. I've been thinking about posing the question in certain places, but I haven't yet. Eh. I don't know if most people want, like, weird philosophical things. Because I was, like, so plugged in last year, and I, I've just completely turned off. <laughs> like, starting in back, like, October, I realized, like, I can't, I can't keep on paying this much attention. I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, what is this? Um, opening crate springs extra cash. I like it. Um, I could have done better this floor, but I do have a freaking dog attached to me, and I wish I had walked her in one of the easier dungeons. You can do the original three dungeons, you just have to pull a little lever that's appeared in front of them, and it'll take you back there. That is what I suggest if there's at any type of even slightly hard, um... Where did Claire go? Oh no! All right, good. <laughs> I was like, did I lose her? Was all of that for nothing? Don't want to get hit by him. Oh god. Or actually, that is a her. I read the. Uh, <laughs> I read the um, the business card you got from her. Kaboom! Joblin squad. Fellow Joblin, let's go. And just remember, you only get paid upon a completed job, and that means killing our boss. Yep, because I'm just a Joblin too. Definitely not a human in a joblin suit. Don't want to get murdered. <laughs> I think I'm only going to talk to him once per is. Although I, I'll never see him again. If I beat the dungeon, I should probably talk to him. They do have a limited amount of lines. Job's closed right now. Sorry, I'm on break. <laughs> Just kidding. Just a little joke. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't get it. Or you. All right, come on, Eclair. We got some Eclairin to do. Ooh. Ah, yoga ball. Oh, wait, that's my guy. How do I... How do I get you out of the damn car without killing you? There we go. Or, not without killing the car. I wanted to kill you. No. Joblin. Joblin slash. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Cool! Now I have the car. Suck it, Eclair. You're coming with me whether you want to or not. Full speed. Oh no! Oh, your eyes will betray you. That's not- it's not- it's not the other thing. Um, okay, well that car's upside down. What is this? Oh yeah, I gotta get those skills. I gotta. Any tips for clearing this dungeon, Mr... Haunt is fine. My only advice is... My only advice is something my old mentor told me. The more 
you skill, the more you kill. He was never the best at grammar, but the point remains. Learn a lot of skills if you want to survive. Good advice, gotta say. Alright, my eyes will betray you. I think it's just gonna get dark. Um, freehand, two-handed weapons are wielded like one-handed weapons. Yeet! That's all she yoded. And a briefcase. One hit of large amounts of damage is what a briefcase generally is. Also, there's usually money inside. So that's cool, too. The App Store. I know what app I want. Self-care, please. We will use this right now. I do, in fact, need some self-care. And, hell, give me a sticks. I like being invincible periodically. In real life, too. It's a real hoot. Oh god, do I get that? I think I only get that because I have invincibility. Otherwise I might not, because they're gonna send guys after me. Plus I have this car. Oh god, I can't see, I forgot. Ow. Alright, we're using it. <laughs> that wasn't- that wasn't the- that wasn't the app I thought it was. I don't have any weapons. Alright, well that was- this is a mistake. This is a mistake that I made. Uh... I also used the briefcase when someone had a, a shield, so it did no damage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is absolutely not worth the special life. And I'm still- I might die in this room. I can't- <laughs> What a, a horrible confluence of factors. Yeah, no, they're beating me to death. Oh, the car's still there. Roll! Boom! That might save me. I'm absolutely not out of the woods yet, though. Ow, one more hit and I'm dead. That was terrible. Um... <laughs> I really thought that was the Styx Road app, but no, it was just yellow. Um... So I'm almost definitely screwed. Almost definitely. You know, I gotta get rid of the stupid dog. Oh, you know, there's the Styx Road app. Oh, God, I'm a dumb. All right. Well, let's take it. Uh, let's see if I can meander back to the shop. And get uh, at least one more hit of health. But yeah, getting to the third level, that's not happening. Yeah, damn it, damn it, damn it. And because I bought the Styx Road, I, I didn't have enough money to get even one more thing. All right, well. It ain't looking good for old Cross Knights. <laughs> Walk your own damn dog, Kira. I love your doggo, but I'm gonna die now. Alright. This isn't enough. I can kill him, but I'm not gonna kill the other guy. And then he's just gonna murder me, because I can't see him. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> it's, what was I gonna do there? I'm, I'm, I'm laid in down by a dog and can't see and had one health. Alright. Um, or at least I broke up a union. <laughs> you ain't getting no rights. You work the way we want. You don't even get completed. You do jobs. Ooh, I have the yeet. I might actually take yeet as my skill that I take into the dungeon. But I think I leveled up. Oh, uh, yeah. You ever practice meditation? No, but sometimes I stare up at the ceiling and contemplate my own mortality. Usually when I'm trying to go to sleep. Is that similar? Not even close. Don't worry, kiddo. We'll have you zend out before you know what zend ya. I'm giving you the keys to my private meditation room. Spend some time there and I bet you'll come out with some new knowledge you didn't even know you had. That- it is a very good skill. There will now, if I'm using him, um, I will be able to get an additional skill per floor. It's great. Uh, let's get this. What is this even? Sword Mastery. Charging attacks with sharp weapons launches. This is, um, that is clearly a Zelda reference. Um, let's get his new task. Alright, who's ready for the next lesson? These are getting kind of weird, Ray. I think maybe I should get back to my other tasks. Well, that's exactly the attitude we're going to flush straight out of your system in Lesson 4. Confronting Responsibility. When a difficult challenge comes your way, you might be tempted to dodge out of its way. But you should never do this. As my pops always said, if you avoid hardship, 
You're weak and a coward. Don't avoid danger. Sounds terrible, thanks. Um, complete a floor without dodge rolling. This is very hard. <laughs> and because of that, um, as I got, try to get rid of this dog, um, not get rid of, just, you know. We're gonna, so we're gonna turn off Joblin's, um, is, is do. Turn off Joblin's true founder mode. We're gonna go back to the original Joblin, and I'm gonna complete this damn dog mission. That was so terrible. So terrible. <laughs> I mean, the the secondary dungeons are like the real game. They're, they're much harder than the first dungeons, but just to have that type of disadvantage, not great. Even with my uh, like knowledge of the game, I just ain't that skilled to survive being blind like that. Seems like this office has seen better days. Jeez, you think? Everything around here is maintained by contractors. So when things are a mess, the boss blames it on the lazy contractors and fires them all. The new ones are never any better, though. Can you blame them? Everyone around here seems demoralized and sleep-deprived. Preach into the choir, kid. Yeah... Beep. But yeah, I used to be... My, my first job after college was a graphic design job. I, I've seen a few people in the in uh, the comments, um, Jesse Glepner, like, mentioned some of their experience. What? Did Jesse... I think I'm remembering that right. But yeah, it, uh... <laughs> Uh, this game is relatable to a bunch of people. It, uh, if you've been in certain type of, like, startups or the corporate world or anything, I mean, yeah, who, who knows what happened to the people who made this game. By the way, I'm not even supposed to be showing this, but I am... Um... <laughs> oh, damn it, I meant to change mentors. I meant to use Ray. Oh, well. Um... But yeah, no, there's, there's a lot to relate to in this game. But yeah, the, I had a graphic design job, I was an unpaid internship. Like, what happened was, I actually went to um, this uh, organization that helps people with disabilities. They helped me pay for college, um, and they were gonna help me get a job, and they set me up with their their guy. And instead of um, helping me get a paying job, he instead hired me for his own, like, weird startup thing. Uh, that And it was an unpaid internship, and I definitely, I took it. Because I, um, you know, besides not having any confidence in my abilities at the time, um, I don't know, it seemed like a good opportunity to learn with low pressure. And it was. And the thing is, I really did enjoy working for him and his partner. But, I mean, they probably should have, like, paid me money. Uh, <laughs> and eventually, their, their company was essentially destroyed because they were running it like insane people. They both had slightly different visions, completely different work styles, and they, they worked well together in a way, but, like... I was not the only person that wasn't being compensated the way that they should have. So, it, you know, it fell apart. <laughs> Plus, what they were trying to do was a little bit crazy anyway. They just didn't have enough money to do what they were doing, so. They, they were basically running on the thing like, you know, eventually um, we'll be successful and then we can actually pay everyone, but that's not how things work. You have to, you have to pay them when they're working for you, because it's possible that payday may never come. And for most of the people working for them, of which there were like 10, it didn't. <laughs> um, eventually, I ended up being one of the only people that was being paid, because they, they cut down to three people. Um, there was like three iterations of the business, and the final iteration they hooked up with like these millionaires um, that were at least as crazy if them was not crazier and it all fell apart. But at that point, I was literally the only employee left. Everyone else had been fired. <laughs> so I think there's actually some videos where I talk about how I don't think I have job security. I'm saving as much money as possible because I know this isn't going to last. And I was so right. Um, and I was able to move and stuff and, and do a bunch of other stuff. But that's only because I knew, I knew that I needed to save every single piece of money that I had piece of money money comes in pieces right um <laughs> so yeah i uh i relate especially just due to the mismanagement and watching the mismanagement i, I remember god i mean I, how long have i been talking about this is this the episode what if this is just the episode and that's just okay i think that's ooh consulate this is a great ability it shocks people if you get hit um it's just the first time they met with those, uh, I just keep on killing them millionaires, and they, they were, they had a business, but I, I don't want to be more specific than that. Um, 
When the next combat's enemy will keep their health secret, I'm fine with that. Um, the first time I met with, uh, or we met with this, the new partners, these like millionaires people, my, my two bosses, the guy said something that was so messed up, it was such a red flag, I literally, <laughs> I think I told people like, I should start looking for a new job. This is not going to last. And I think it was it was three months, I think, before the entire company um, was gone. <laughs> and I think even, um, I think one of the two millionaires actually offered me to keep working from them, but like, she was a bad boss. I saw how she treated people. So it was kind of interesting. I had an opportunity to be literally the only per person left standing in that original company, um, including my two bosses, and I absolutely just ducked out, and I have never once regretted it. Even though, um... Th those two millionaires, like, the thing they made that I was doing graphic design for still exists. They're still using my sign. Um... <laughs> so when I go to the town that I work to, it's like, ah! My sign is still a big billboard over. That's kind of cool. It's my legacy. But... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, I think... <laughs> I guess I just needed to get that off my chest. Um, we're gonna keep on doing this, and I will, uh, I, I, I think I'll have no problem getting to the third level and, uh, completing a Claire's journey so that I can possibly try to either end the episode or, or move on with my new attempt. All out of jobs down here? What made you decide to be a barista? Who wouldn't want this job? Best seats in the house, pal. Coffee's the lifeblood of this operation, so everyone's gotta be nice to me or I might secretly slip them decaf instead. Plus, the boss has got his own espresso set up down in the lower levels, so I basically never look at him. Alright. Cool. <laughs> um, I have a business card. And I only mention this because it is possible to get the business card of bosses, and I, of course, do want to try this. Um, but then, well, maybe, and then I have to decide whether I want to actually try again on the uh, Joblin dungeon, or just like talk to my employees. That's possible. I can do that. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Give me your business card. I wonder what it's like to feel pain. What the? I don't. I don't like it when my delivery droids ad-lib like that in a very, very creepy manner, thank you very much. Definitely gonna write that on the review. Alright, so we also got the freelance graphic designer, he has the electric pen. Cool. And, uh, I was just talking about being a freelance graphic designer, that's cr- well I guess I- no. I was an intern, I don't know if I was freelance at that point, but there we are, the caffeinated. The result of years of unsanctioned caffeination experiments, capable of filing thousands of spreadsheets without taking its eyes off the screen. Its sheer productivity and dedication to the workplace is respected and feared throughout the gone underworld. But yeah, I dropped the stupid dog off. That's the important thing. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm just going off about my old graphic design job. It's confusing because basically my old boss is hooked up with these two people that save their business by basically giving it an infusion of cast. It's basically this game. But then they had a falling out, um, and my bosses essentially got fired from their own job. Uh, <laughs> so I was the only one left. I don't know if I explained that right. I can talk about it publicly. This is like... This is like ten years ago now. This is crazy. <laughs> You've been kicking butt in these dungeons, Beb. You got me real motivated to do something on my own. Really make a difference to society. What I'm saying is I'm opening my own startup. Of course you are. Okay, so you know how Cubicle delivers these personalized cubes with useful stuff inside? Like, that's their whole thing, right? Yeah. Well, my startup is exactly like that. Only the boxes contain random crap I bought from a thrift store. I call them swamp cubes. Won't people get pissed once they realize that you're selling them random junk? Probably, but our valuation will already be billions by the time they find out. I'll have sold out long before then. I got this capitalism thing on lock, baby. Anyway, I'm letting you in on the ground floor of this operation, Beb. 
If you see any big cubes that say swamp on them, now you know who to thank for that. Sounds useful. Thanks, swamp. I think. All right, so that was that. Um, fells. What did I did? Was it the car, drive over a car with a car thing? Is that the thing that I just completed? I don't know. Um, huh. Because I definitely did that, but I thought I had already done that after the fact. I don't know how you can check tests that you've already done. I'm going to guess that you cannot, but <laughs> um, it's been 40 minutes of my recording. This will probably just be a shorter episode. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Um, but I guess next time I'll go back to Joblin, right? And what is, what is this? Spear Hunter. Deal damage with the very tip of a spear. Oh, that's an extremely specific one. Fire guns faster and have twice as much energy. <laughs> Loaded for bear. I have the right to bear arms. <laughs> Everyone has the right to put a bunch of bear arms on their wall. How could anyone misconstrue that? This one's great. Pickup artist. Um, I can charm enemies by looking at them. Oh, and did I complete your? What did I complete of yours? Was I was clearly not paying attention. What was your mission even? Damn it. All right, well, if I, I recorded the whole time, if I was just completing missions and didn't realize, I'll just show it, then, then I'll know what I did. I mean, I know what I did for her. I walked to Claire, and it was really hard. Battery life on these modern smartphones just keeps getting worse and worse. You turn your back for one second, they lose charge. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like I'd be better off just tossing dead phones at monsters instead. Hey, that's not a bad idea. So a bricked phone happens when you leave an app. You have to pick them up in the room you find them. You can't just store them. If you come, if you go and come back, bricked. I think the app, uh, if they're, they take damage next to it, it will also turn into a bricked phone. But that's how you get them. Just need to chuck them. They're in each dungeon, so I don't have to worry about going back anywhere. Jacqueline, I must ask you to gather a rare ingredient for me. You've doubtless seen the eggplants hanging from the ceiling at Winky Dinks. I try not to think about them too much. Well, I've heard legends that once in a generation, a legendary golden eggplant spawns from their tender vines. Uh-huh, that makes perfect sense. Do I detect a hint of sarcasm, young lady? No, no, this all seems totally normal. I'll go and get your golden eggplant from the sexy demon office. Jolly good. Man, I've been giving him, uh, I figured, a bad French accent due to his dress. And now he's going and saying, jolly good on me. Should I have been giving him an even worse British accent? Maybe, but it's too late now. And people are like, that was supposed to be a French accent this whole time? Yes, it was. I am sorry, France. Didn't even know where you were located in Bully. It's clear I know very little about France. <laughs> oh, I guess Swamp has another mission for me. You dating anyone right now, babe? Oh god, I should have known this was coming. Look, Swamp, I'm flattered, but I'm really not looking for- No, 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 not like that. I'm just saying you seem kind of bummed lately. Going on a casual date or two can really be a good way to unwind. Even if you're just there for the free bakalava, know what I'm saying? Or they might just ghost you and damage your self-esteem even more. But hey, it's worth a shot. You might as well try it. Not with me, though. <laughs> we both know I'm kind of out of your league. Of course, Swamp. Of course you are. Um, you yeah, know, I'm not. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do another run. Um, for him, I'm pretty sure his uh, mission was kill goblins with their own burrito bombs. Um, that caffeinated run had tons of goblins throwing those bombs. I'm pretty sure they just blew themselves up. So that was that. Um, Swamp must have been the car thing. I don't know. Might as well just talk to these two, though, if I'm not going to do any more. Have you ever used dating apps, Teppy? Well, <laughs> like, I used to, I guess. Like, mess around on Winky Dink. Nothing great ever came out of it, though. Women seeking women on mainstream dating app is, to say the least, an uphill struggle. Whatever happened to that app, anyway? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Considering she doesn't even know that there's a dungeon down there, this is probably true. You read books much, kid? 
I love books. I love reading this fantasy series called Orc Story. It's full of this really deep socio-political commentary and nah, nah, nah. I mean real books about stuff, like how to make money, or how to talk to someone who makes even more money than you. Reading books makes you a better entrepreneur. It's totally indispensable. And my trick to reading more books? I only read every third page. I could read as much as three people that way. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, such a douche. In any case, I am Cross Knights. Didn't make a lot of story progress there, did I? But maybe I did. I mean, I made, I made some progress. I made, um... I made <laughs> fish people. Yeah, fish people. That's all we are now. Fish people. I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening to my rant, which I don't even know how it went. I was really just, it's really just freestyling there. Not that I don't always. Um, and yeah, if you have any other, if anyone else has any other stories that aren't like traumatic, I guess you could put traumatic stories in the comments too. Yeah, feel free. I've, uh, I've enjoyed uh, seeing that this game has uh, hit people in a relation type level. In any case, I'm Cross Nice. Thank you for watching. Thank you, as always, to my patrons, and I'll see you later, interns.